All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have another one from Swiss Watch Company. I'm, this is probably one of the most exciting releases for me. Uh, I've been privileged enough to look at their divers' watches, including the Chronograph. I took a look at both a couple of their sports watches recently, but this is the Bunker. This is their newest field watch release, and I just, as usual, you know, Swiss Watch Company listens to what we like out there in the watch community, and they build watches accordingly. As far as field watches go, this one really has so many awesome specs to it that make it really another home run from Swiss Watch Company. I wanted to show you guys the leather case that it came in. This is a neat case. I'll show you a little bit more towards the end of the video. It also came with one of their uh, uh, Velcro elastic style straps, which is really cool. We'll throw that on the watch towards the end of the video also. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at this watch, the Bunker. Now, guys, these the, the actual release date on these is not out there or available yet, but um, they are coming soon. I think they're going to do their typical Kickstarter campaign. Knowing Swiss Watch Company, they'll blow it out of the water like they do on every single one of their launches. This is a really neat watch. Now, getting into the specs of the watch, you have a 41 millimeter case from side to side here, 47 lug tip to lug tip. So it's going to come in at a great, great size on the wrist. Really impressive 10 millimeters of thickness from the bottom of the case back to the top of the crystal, which is really, really nice. And I do believe, I didn't measure them, but I do believe we have 22 millimeter lugs here. I will check those when we do the wrist shot, but nice leather strap the watch comes on. Now this is kind of this sand or cream dial here. I know they have a blue dial available. They also have a black dial available. Check out Instagram, watch for pictures of those popping up on Instagram. I know Tech Writer's got one out there. I think Ty Alexander has one out there. So check them out on Instagram, but a really, really nice piece. Now one of the coolest parts about this, and I can just tell in my hand, it's funny, I handed this watch to my wife and the first thing she said is this titanium. Yes, it is titanium. There's a grade two titanium on the watch. So it keeps it incredibly, incredibly light, guys. I'll check the spec sheet to get the weight for you at one point here during the video, but it is an incredibly light watch. It's gonna wear really well on the wrist. Now they are coating this in a, a clear coat um, to keep it hardness. It takes it up to like over six uh, Vickers, which is super, super hard. So it's gonna keep you from scratching the watch up too much at all, but really nice. And I do love the look of titanium because you don't have to worry about polished surfaces or beveled edges getting knocked or scratched, and especially on a field watch that is meant to be used out in the field and get work done, the titanium is a great look. Very nice, clean look. You can see the nice shape of the lugs here on the watch, which I think is really nice. You can see it dives down, then you'll have this outside twist to the lug, which looks really, really nice. The crown on the watch, of course, is signed by Swiss Watch Company. And turning to the side here, you guys can see they were thoughtful enough to put pierced lugs on this watch, which makes those strap changes incredibly easy. I'm gonna get a little closer up here so we can check out the dial on the watch. Extremely clean layout here in the dial. And what you'd expect of a field watch, you have your regular 12 hour layout out there on the big ring, your 24 hour on the inside here for keeping track of that. And you have a 60 minute track around the outside that looks really nice. Now you guys will notice we're hardly getting any reflection off of this flat sapphire crystal, which is pretty impressive because I've even not turned off my overhead light. I forgot to do that for the video, but I wanted to note that to you guys because they're using 16 layers of anti, <clears throat> excuse me, anti-reflective coating on this crystal here. So it's really impressive. And then they're actually putting a sapphire, a, I guess a shoot on sapphire layer over the top of the era coating to keep it from scratching. So it's really, really knocked down any um, reflection at all, to be honest with you here in my office. I mean, I guess if I worked hard, I could make it get reflection, but that's pretty impressive. Date window down here at the six o'clock position. I didn't mention to you guys, but this is running the Silita SW200 Swiss movement, really, really good movement, 26 joules, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, has right around a 40 to 42 hour power reserve on the movement. So it's going to be a great movement in this watch, going to last you forever. Very, um, tried and true Swiss movement can be regulated, can be worked on for a lifetime. So it's a great, great uh, movement. Love the hand shape on here. Very simple. Those nice points come all the way out to the, the seconds and the minute track there, which is nice. And also that nice orange pop on that second hand with that little, little narrow arrow there, which is just really flattering. I think it looks really nice. And again, reaching all the way out to that seconds track. So very clean, nice offering again from Swiss Watch Company. We'll flip it over and take a look at the back of the bunker here. Let's you know all the information you want to know about this one. Swiss made the automatic movement, of course, 100 meters of water resistance with sapphire crystal. So this watch is going to be something which you'd expect from a field watch, but you can pretty much do anything with. You can go swimming, snorkeling, that type of stuff with it, any kind of water adventures. 
you can get it done with this watch. So let's go ahead and pause it, get this watch on my seven inch wrist. We'll throw it on the other strap also, and then stick around for the loom shot because they have 20 layers of super luminova on this watch. So it really glows like a torch. So let's check this out on the wrist. All right, so guys, here's the watch on the leather strap on my seven inch wrist, that 41 millimeter case size, 47 leather lug. It's gonna fit really well on a whole lot of wrists out there unless you have a super, super tiny wrist. But even at that, the titanium build quality of the watch is gonna make it just disappear on your wrist. I've been wearing a larger, you know, 42 millimeter dive watch for the last day or two, and it's incredible. I almost don't feel this watch on my wrist. Besides the fact that the leather strap needs to be broken in a little bit, it really, really fits well. But let's go ahead and stick it on this sports strap that they're making, see what it looks like and see how it feels, and then we'll go out the loom shot. All right, so here it is on their kind of um, stretchy sport strap with the Velcro. It's a kind of a cool strap. This one honestly was a little bit short, was a little bit tough for me to get on my wrist. I'm not sure if you're supposed to just, you know, pull this through or anything. I should have probably watched. I think Josh has a video on this, but it fits really well and it's super, super comfortable. Actually, the way it feels on this watch actually feels better than the leather because it just, it, the watch is so lightweight that with this on there, it literally is so super comfortable, you're gonna forget you're wearing the watch, which for some people might be bad. I think it's kind of cool. I think the watch being this lightweight, just a, a pure adventure watch that you can do anything with, um, it, it's nice that it just disappears on the wrist. That's what you want with a watch like this. It's just a tool, it's always there, it disappears on the wrist and it just feels spectacular. So let's kill the lights and check out the loom on this one. All right, so here we go with the lights down. You guys can see it's already glowing. I'm thinking we're using BGW9 on this watch, we're getting that blue glow. And again, 20 layers, you know. Um, SWC has never been shy about using Loom on their watches. And really, with a field watch, that's a key point on a field watch, is you really want to have that Loom there. And one of the things I wanted to point out is you don't have a Loomed pip on that small arrow for the second hand, but look what they did. They put like almost like a little Seiko lollipop down there on the counterbalance for that second hand. That's awesome because it's always letting you know your watch is running. So super good job, Swiss Watch Company. These watches will be available here very soon. I'm going to leave the link down below to their website where you can sign up for more information on the, uh, the launch and um, everything coming. By the way, these are going to be $399 USD, a really good price for everything you get, Swiss Movement, Swiss Built Watch. They're Swiss, the, the company has um, brothers and friends in Switzerland working. So it's just a they're a true Swiss Watch Company. So guys, very cool one. Thanks, Josh and Stephen, for getting this one out to the channel. Thumbs up, guys, if you like the video, and if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks, guys.